What's good, YouTube? It's your boy D Money here, back with another banger video, man. And today, as you guys can see by the title, man, chosen was you're free, and they hate that. Before we start this video, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. A lot of you guys are watching the vids, but are subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and it helps support the channel. Also, guys, we are doing a giveaway at 15k subscribers, guys. All you guys gotta do is hit that subscribe button, hit that post bell notification, and you're in there like swimmer. You dig? Comment down below what you guys want to see next and I got you guys. You guys have been showing me so much love and I really do appreciate that. Now before we start this video guys, like I always state, take everything that I say with a grain of salt. My perspective might change a day, two days, a year from now. Who knows, we're constantly growing. And if you're not growing, then what are you doing? Also guys, I love hearing the stories, the messages. You guys are such a big inspiration. When I read the comments, I literally see the positivity, the growth. I literally have the best community on YouTube. And if you guys have something more personal to tell me, let me know on Instagram. I do respond. I might be a couple days late, but I do respond. And if you guys do not agree with what I'm saying, please, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'm understanding. I'm understanding. I got an open mind. This is an open-minded channel. Listen, nine to five. The great America. You know, the white picket fence, the land of the home and the free, and the brave. I congratulate everybody that fought for our country. And there was a lot of slaves, especially when it was the white people against the white people, the South versus the North. Let's not forget about history. I congratulate everybody that has did some service to our country, but our country don't love us no more. And let's keep it a buck. You feel me? This is not the land of the free or the brave. It's a lot of people that make it out. Ma, not really. It's a small percentage of people that actually make it out. Which is cool. But they play some type of role in this world. And not all people do. Now I'm keeping it a buck. Not all of them do. You feel me? But a lot of them do. You see them on TV. Play some type of role. Whether they know it or not. And that's cool. You have a lot of c celebrities that try to speak up about it. But then they're silenced. And that's cool. Because we see it for what it is. We know what it is and we know what it ain't. You feel me? And for those of you guys that don't. Or that, that are not awake right now. If you come across this video and you having your spiritual awakening right now. Bro, this is the video for you. You feel what I'm saying? Because you may be like, man, I'm in between... The stages of what I'm, you know, what's real and what's not. But when you put them glasses on, when you put them glasses that show the world for what it is, bro, you no longer going back. You down that rabbit hole. You know what it is. You know what the world has in store for you. You know, you. but then you start to realize that you could work within that system. And that system can only, you can only get so far though. And I'm not saying that the sky is not, you can't go beyond the sky. The sky is not the limit for you. Your goals is your goals. Your aspirations is your aspirations. What it is that you love to do, you can do it as long as you set your mind to. You feel me? So let that be let that be stated before I even get into what I really want to say. Nine to fives is bull. We get taxed for everything that we do. We get taxed for everything that we eat. You gotta pay to get out of the country. You gotta have somebody sign your paper, sign a, a notepad. So that you can lead a country. That's insane to me. You work 10 to 12 hours a day. And think that's normal. I saw a quote the other day. It said. The world is so messed up right now. That people really believe that working 10 to 12 hour days. Is normal. I'm not getting on nobody. For having their own hustle. They own, you got to do what you got to do to survive in this world. Don't get it twisted. That's cool and all. Trust me, I was just like you. I still am sometimes. But I also realize, okay, bro, this is not it. You are slaves to the system, bro. You can't go nowhere without uh, 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 documentation. You got to work super, super hard for a little pay. You don't own nothing not your car, it can be paid off, but you still got to pay insurance just to travel. You got a house and land, but you still got to pay property taxes. You ain't free. You still under contract. You ain't free. Jill Scott said it best, man. She butchered, she, she destroyed the national anthem. Destroyed it. And I applaud her. 
Because they never ever talk about the second verse of the national anthem. We always on that first verse. And like I said before, I had to state it at the beginning. I appreciate and I applaud everybody that fought for our country. But they don't talk about the slaves that fought North versus South. They don't talk about that. They disregard how it was slaves that won the war. You know, but we ain't talking about it. We ain't gonna get too deep on it because that's history that's that's been forgotten. You know, we, we already know how black people are creative and strong and mentally, physically, spiritually. You feel what I'm saying? My dog agreeing with me. Cash, chill out. My dog agreeing with me. Y'all know I ain't cutting that out. But Jill Scott said it best. And when you have people like that that's coming out and speaking it, yeah, 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 I can insert the clip right here. Oh, say, can you see? By the blood in the streets that this place doesn't smile on you colored child whose blood built this land Sweat and their hands, but you'll die in this place, and your memory remains. Oh. This is not the land of the free, but the home of the slave. When she was singing that national anthem, exposing it for what it is. And so many other people want to expose it too, but they can't. Because they're under patrol, they're under contracts, they're under all these things. Cash, chill out. You feel what I'm saying? The world is, you not free, man. And it's not even, no it's no longer about the black or white. It's more about everyone. Y'all all in the system. Y'all all, y'all, it's all, y'all all, y'all are part of us now. Y'all are a part of us. And you know who I'm talking to. I love y'all too. But y'all are part of it too. It's no longer the, the, the land of the free. It never was. It's a system that was always meant to, to keep you, to keep you at bay. And a lot of people are still underneath that spell, bro. A lot of people are still underneath that, that, that belief that you can, the American dream, the white picket fence, all this, woo woo woo. They give you hope, and hope is a is a, ooh, it's, it's a motherfucker. You see a couple people make it out, but a lot of people still stay in. Hope is a mug. And I wouldn't be surprised if oh, D bossed up, videos booming, YouTube, they they hey, throw you a little cash. This is what happens. A lot of people get thrown that cash and they and they and they shut up. A lot of people get thrown that cash and they shut up. You know what I'm saying? To to not expose, to not sh share what's really going on. But it couldn't be me. 
It couldn't be me. You feel what I'm saying, bro? It's too much going on in the world, bro. It's too many people to help. When you know the secrets, when you know the truth, why hold it for yourself? When your people are suffering. Democracy. We have no vote. We already, for one, we are already in that, that, that mindset that, bro, you can go and have a line wrapped around Sheen that's almost a mile away from Sheen rather than a mile away from voting to, to, to secure your... We don't know what real voting is. We vote for the president, but we don't vote for Congress. We don't vote for the people that actually make the laws. You got the judicial and legislative. legislative. You got two different branches. It's really three. But you got the, the, the two, you got the executive also. We don't never vote for those individuals. We vote for the, the president. Judicial. They don't have no right. He, he, he just there for a face. He's a face. But he don't write them laws. He don't, he don't do that. He don't do none of that. He got he to gotta get a vote before he can pass a law. Yeah, you can make an executive order. And they can always overturn it. It's nothing, it's nothing that can stick. And this is what a lot of people don't realize. This is what a lot of people don't see. You know what I'm saying? We say we're free, but we're not. We pay for all these things and then get taxed twice. You want to travel out the country and they ask you why. You got to stamp it. And then you can only be there for so long. Because if you don't have citizenship, oh man, you you know what I'm saying? That's an issue. And I, I find that to be an issue. You got to literally have documentation of everywhere that I go. When I should be able to move for free, move and do what I got to do. You feel what I'm saying? But man, take care of your mind, your body, your soul, man. Maybe I'm tripping. Who knows? I don't think I am. But some people will, and it's cool to think that, bro. It's cool. You know, I'm going to still continue to live my life. I'm going to continue to still go out there, have fun, do what I do. But I still know my truth. I still know where I come from. No longer under them chains. And them chains that spell over your mind. You know what I'm saying? And people are still under it. People still, people still ain't broke them chains yet, bro. You know, and it's a lot of people that have broken chains, but they can't speak up. It's a lot of artists. It's a lot, it's a lot of, uh, you know, people, anybody, anybody that you look up to, influencer. And they got to be, it's them big ones. Jamie Foxx did it, and you see what happened. Ice Cube did it. Prince did it. Michael Jackson did it. You, you can, I can go down a list and expose how many people done done it. And see what happens. And see what happens to them. You play a role too good in the movie, and they like, man, you got people really thinking. The movies share it all. The music tells it all. You got to read between the lines. And a lot of people can't do that. Their common sense ain't common sense. You feel what I'm saying, man? So take care of your mind, your body, and your soul. Go outside, get some sun, get some nature, drink y'all's water, eat y'all's fruits and vegetables, plant y'all's foods. If y'all can, if y'all can't, so be it. Just make sure y'all eating home-cooked meals. Them nine to fives is bullshit. And it ain't even nine to five no more. You got to have two jobs to be able to make it. In a world where rent is three, two thousand dollars for a two bedroom bullshit apartment. I love y'all, man. Y'all been smashing that like button. I really do appreciate that, man. Let's try to get three likes in this video. We are doing a giveaway at 15K subscribers, guys. All you guys got to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that post bell notification, and you in there like swimmer, you dig? I got the pranks, I got the vlogs, I got what you need. All you need to do, subscribe to D. I'm out of here, man. Peace.